Hey traders, Akil Stokes here. It is January 11th and welcome back to another edition of The Trading Block. So today I've got some good news and bad news for you. We'll start with the bad news. Another rough day of trading, 0 for 3 today. Um, three losing trades, one on the Euro dollar, that was a, a bullish uh, bar, uh, bat formation. One on the pound dollar, which was a structured trade, and then one just on the Aussie Canada as well, which was a trend continuation trade. And what's worse is now all three of those trades, or two out of the three trades, are actually going in my uh, direction, the direction that I originally predicted. And it's always rough to see yourself just barely stopped out, only to have the market run up to where you predicted in the first place. So uh, that's trading for you, though. It's been a rough start to the year for me, um, hitting at only about a 25% clip right now, so half of my usual, less than half of my usual win rate. And, um, you know, it, I'm not happy. You know, I, I think I'd sit here and be lying to you guys if said, hey, I'm excited, I'm losing money. No, I don't think anyone loses money. It's not fun to uh, be in a drawdown, but it is necessary. And, and the good news is that I've been here before. This isn't my first rodeo. This isn't my first time in a drawdown. This isn't my first time having a losing streak. Yes, it happens at the beginning of the year this time around, which isn't fun because you're all excited about starting fresh. But hey, that's part of trading. You know, you control what we can control and I can't control when that drawdown will come, whether it comes now, whether it comes in the summer, the fall, the winter. That's not up to me. That's up to the market. Um, I have been evaluating my trades as I always preach. I tell you guys, make sure you're evaluating your trades each and every day. And the good news is that although my trading has sucked, or I should say this, although my results have sucked, uh, my trading hasn't. Every single trade has been a good trade. There are two trades that I'm reviewing that maybe I could have handled a little bit differently, um, but that's normal, just trying to figure out how you can maximize and, and how you can improve for the future. So. It's been tough sledding out there. One of the cool things is that me doing this live trading blog, this is very similar to back when I, I had a my my first website and I was I stunk all the time where you guys get to follow me on this journey. And you know, maybe this is relating to some of you guys. Maybe some of you guys out there are struggling as well and you're thinking that you're the only one. And it helps to see a professional trader, someone that you've watched trade for years and be successful. It helps to see that, hey, this guy is in the same spot as me. So I need to kind of, you know, not be so hard on myself. Now, again, I've been through drawdowns in the past, so I'm, I'm pretty confident on how to get out of it. Um, it's, <laughs> it's common. But for you guys that are new, for you guys that this may be your first drawdown or your first extended drawdown, it's hard to say extended. It's only been 10 days, but let's just say it's your first extended target. You want to be a, or extended drawdown. You want to be careful because as you start losing more and more trades, right, the natural reaction is to try and force winners, is to try and over trade, really do something different. Take trades that you're not supposed to take just so you can get that feeling of having that winner come back. And that's a very dangerous situation to be in because typically when you force things, just like in any sport, right, when you start forcing your shot or forcing your golf swing, right, it ends up even worse than it was before. So, you know, have a woo-saw moment. We call it woo-saw. Relax. If you need to take some time away from the charts, that's perfectly fine. If I wasn't in um, the trading education business, I'd probably do that as well. Maybe take a day to myself, kind of relax and reflect. But take a day, make sure you're, you're mentally in check, meaning make sure you're not going into the market with, with the desire to revenge trade or force trades, and just stick with what you've been doing. Um, I, I spoke to a trader on TradingView today who was talking about how the results of this year's trading hasn't been anything compared to last year's trading. I said, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Guess what? We're only 10 days into the new year, only 10 days in. It's too soon to start jumping to all those conclusions, especially when comparing this year's results to last year. So, you know, relax, double check, make sure that is a natural drawdown instead of a self-imposed drawdown and keep executing the plan. If this type of trading or these type of results continue, maybe weeks and weeks down the road and nothing changes, then maybe it's time to, you know, start considering, hey, maybe I need to work on this or change that or adjust this. But right now, just, you know, accept it. It's a drawdown like no other. The only difference is we're starting off the year that way. So 
I'll keep you guys updated as usual, win, lose, or draw. I'm here with you every day for this trading blog. Uh, and hopefully I'm inspiring some of you guys. And if so, do me a favor, just let other traders know. If you know a struggling trader out there or you've seen some struggling traders out there on Facebook or Twitter, just let them know, hey, check out this video. Um, come and get this comfort each and every day and, and, and seeing the, the reality of what professional trading looks like. See what a real trader goes through instead of just what you see um, on the internet where people always win. And if yeah, you like that as well, join the syndicate. Then you get to see it in a more detailed version as well. Um, when I type in ideas or once Charles gets back, he's been sick for a few days, once he comes in and gives you his morning war room meeting as well. So until next time, gang, plan your trade, trade your plan. I'll see you guys tomorrow.